one. Just telling Joe, he's trying to find an elevator to get up here <laughs> and take the back stairs, though. <laughs> That's sort of what you expected, though. I mean, or you, you heard all this stuff over the offseason. You talked to John, I'm sure. Was it what you expected, more than what you expected? Yeah, I mean, um, we were the last group, too, my group to go. So we were watching all the other guys come off, and then they were telling us how hard it was on purpose just to piss us off a little bit. But, uh, no, it's just – I mean, we expected it. We've had guys here, I'm sure you've heard it a million times, since September 1st. Probably We never got the six reps. Like, we never did six laps, but we were doing three. Some guys did four just to get a kind of feel of it. But uh, no matter how many times you do it at practice, your legs kind of give out in your little bit. They die. But uh, it's just work. Everybody worked hard. I think everybody did a good job today. So – Tough first day. We got. I'm sure it's going to get even harder, but it's all good. Have you ever had a first day where you just don't handle the puck whatsoever? Um, no, <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right. Changing things up, so it's good. Tony, uh, especially with the news today about the fact that Brian Ellis is probably going to miss the season, plan seems to be for you to start out on the first pair with Ivan Provorov. Chuck told us that Brian, from the start last season before the injury hit, had really gone out of his way to try to build a relationship with Ivan. Obviously that got, you know, that got ruined by the injury, but have you tried to, to connect with Ivan knowing that you guys likely will be partnered together? To start the year? Yeah. I mean, we were here the last couple of weeks just talking and trying to get to, I know uh, his game pretty well, just from playing against him, know what kind of player he is. So just trying to pick his brain on, on different little things. There's not, uh, there's not too, too much we need to talk about. We need to play together. You know, we need to get some reps in together and then we could talk even more after that, but uh, really good player, really good defender. You know, he kind of reminds me a little bit of different body types. And I played with Slavin last year, but similar in the sense that they could defend guys one-on-one, -on -one, you know, uh, finish guys off and break the puck out and go the other way. So I feel like I complement those kind of guys really well. So I'm hoping that uh, we can get off on the right foot quick and, and just get some chemistry going early. Yeah, like the last three weeks, I've probably said it four times already, but guys are going to keep saying to you, it's really good to get guys around each other. I mean, we don't have a ton of new faces, but there's enough. And it's, uh, you know, a whole new staff and stuff. So guys got to, you know, we got to get on the same page pretty quick. So I think it's good for, for guys to be pushing each other hard and then you feel comfortable with other guys quick. You know, we got some young guys pushing for jobs. You want them to feel comfortable. And, you know, I'm hoping some of them guys push for jobs and make the team right away. That's what we need, right? We need some young guys to step up in the organization. So, it's, uh, it's really good. I think the harder we push each other, the better of a team we're going to be. Were there any jitters first thing in the morning entering this building? I know, like for the first day. Sorry, you said any what? Were there any jitters oh. for the first day of training camp, being take your, it's a practical, your hometown, playing for your hometown team. Yeah. Was there any nervousness today, even though the scrimmages and whatnot you've been here for? I was nervous for my legs today. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you what, it still doesn't feel real for me playing for the Flyers, not yet. I mean, even though we had training camp day today, and you see all, I used to come to these training camps as a kid and stuff. And I'd wait outside after trying to get, trying to get autograph or whatever. But uh, it won't feel real until I really play a game. But uh, it's much different walking in here every day and just being able to come. I did it a lot, but I was on this side in the back locker rooms here, locker room seven and eight. So it's uh, it's pretty cool, and it's going to feel even more special when they put the jersey on. And going back to kind of what you mentioned about the younger players, it looks like a lot of them could make the team. Chuck said maybe ten guys under twenty five. And Tortorella just talked to us about how they're, he's going to play the kids no matter what. How important is it to have those guys pushing you guys for jobs? Yeah, I mean, um, we want them to push us for them. We don't want them to take our jobs, that's for sure. But we want them to uh, – the more guys pushing for jobs means the more players that we have, you know, good players, NHL players in the organization. That's what we need, right? So it's, uh, it's my first year here, but I'm hoping to see some guys. I don't know them all too well. Kind of have an idea of a lot of them now since from being here. But you see guys like Forrester and stuff, you know, former first round picks. It's be good to see them take a big jump and a ton of skill, you know, a ton of skill in these skates we've seen. So I'm looking forward to seeing them in uh, in games and make a push for the big team. John just mentioned that today and what he's trying to do for you guys in these skates weren't hard to make the breakthrough. They're more for your mental toughness. Did it feel like that? You guys were being pushed mentally out there that you just wanted you guys to go as hard as you can and make sure you finish, or did it feel a little, you know? One. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a mixture of all of it, right? Getting in shape, getting ready for the start of the season, but also it's uh, mentally, like, I'm sure it goes through everybody's head there. You can't wait for it to be done, but how hard could you push, you know, the final final two laps, three laps, four laps, and then after that, you got the six, you know, the six up and downs too. So it's a tough day. It's uh, He knows what he's doing. I'm not going to try to read into it too much. He told you guys, so I'm going to go along with that. But uh, I just thought everybody, you know, we watched all the different groups for a little bit. Everybody worked hard, and that's all you could ask for. And now we get some bucks in our hands tomorrow and get going a little bit. Tony, last, Tony uh, 
last year you were obviously in something of a COVID situation. You were on a one-year deal trying to kind of rehabilitate your value as a player around the league. Now that you have some security, you know, two-year contract, definitely a larger contract, how do you avoid kind of letting that complacency set in? Obviously, the last time you signed a big money contract, you didn't go that way. Yeah, um, I don't have any complacency in my game. I think that, uh, especially coming here, I don't have any extra pressure on myself or anything like that, but I have a high standard of, you know, and what I think I should be game in and game out. And that's not going to change. It's only going to keep getting higher. And I thought that uh, it took almost a year off, literally missed 50 straight games and then, you know, come back. And I went into camp last year and I thought that I might have had to retire how bad my first couple of days in, in camp in Carolina were last year. But uh, after I got my feet back into it and, you know, my head and, and hands back into it, I just was the same player I was before. And I thought I had a, took a big step and there's only, there's only more to come. So complacency won't be, won't be in the word I'll use. I'm looking to get going and be even better this year. Going back to Ivan Cobra, when you think back to some of your most successful defensive pairings that you've been a part of, what really allowed you to establish that sense of chemistry with you and your partner? Like, what yeah. you either on the ice or off the ice? Well, I always tell my partner, my first look every time I touch the puck is my partner, you know, whether it's in the neutral zone, whether it's in the O zone. And I think that throughout my career, offensively my partners have have had better numbers you know if you want to look at it like that because I give them the puck a lot and put them in spots where they could shoot and Provi, I think uh, if I'm correct was it two years ago scored 18 goals or something something along the lines of that and he's got a big shot and I think that uh, you know defensively we need to is the number most important thing for us defensively find out our spots obviously we're going to get some new systems compared to what we were both used to last year and we'll get that going but uh, offensively I'm going to put him in real good spots and I think he'll do the same for me that we could uh, we can capitalize there. And, and I always say it, um, part of defending is what we do with the puck too. You know, if we're, if we're real good with the puck and we keep putting in our forwards hands, we're making outlet passes, we're not defending. So it's a pretty good night. So the more we can do that and make plays and get up the ice and, and help the forwards out, the less we'll have to defend. And I think that we could both do a good job of that. So it's all about building chemistry. We've got a couple of weeks here and then as the season goes on. So I'm hoping it turns out to be a good thing. How much, how much are you looking forward to the competitive, competitiveness element? You know, starting to be in, in camp, whether it's uh, scrimmage tomorrow, battles, those those kind of things. Well, it's starting to feel a little bit more real then, a little closer to game center. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of jobs on the line, so I'm expecting real competitive camp. It's not like you just have set lines and set guys uh, like some teams in the league may have right now going into camp. We got guys battling for jobs, so I'm expecting uh, high pace, high compete. There, you know, some physicality. I'm sure there's going to be in these scrimmages and stuff, but. Uh, more importantly than that, I'm looking forward to the games too. Looking forward to watching all the guys and just getting out there with them and stuff. So it'll be a fun camp. It's uh, I think it's really good for camp when there's a lot of jobs in the line. You know, when you come into a team that has their 12 forwards set and then some extras and, and 70, some guys just feel probably demoralized right away if they think they're on group this or group that, whatever. We have a ton of jobs at stake. So I'm looking forward to seeing these guys get after it. All right, thank you, Mark. Thank you, guys. Thank you.